Hey, good morning to the grind. Good morning to the grind. Today we're talking about youth bill. We're talking about the Southern California Black Chamber of Commerce. Good morning to the grind to you out there. Absolutely amazing morning. If you look at it that way, we get to. My name is Kijana Owens. This is the Morning Grind, Grindology 101 podcast. Man, every day that we are above ground, we get to. God is amazing like that. We get the choice, we get the option, we get the chance to put our best foot forward. So this podcast is about encouraging, equipping, uh, motivating, inspiring. I don't know. It's my daily mode of operation. So I get to share how I start my day a little bit there, project to the world, tell God, hey, I'm up and I'm on it Monday through Friday, 6 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So if you're up late, it's going to be great. Hey, great morning to you out there. Thank you for chiming in. Oh, man. It's been an amazing weekend. I'm excited about it. Uh, it's going to be in a, a powerful evening this evening out there in Pomona, California. I'm going to share a few things that we got coming up with the uh, Pomona Valley chapter of, of uh, the Pomona Valley chapter of the Southern California Black Chamber of Cassandra and my dad, the DNA of the grind. So that's going to be cool. Look forward to seeing you there. I'll share some information about it a little bit later. But as we do uh, each and every day on this podcast, if I get to, man, we want to give you something that empower you, inspire you, ignite your fire on today towards what you want. Not what somebody else would want, uh, but what you want in your life and what you're willing to go after. So today, we're talking about, uh, you know, so what are you going to do? What you going to do about it? Don't work. Didn't work. The bill is high. It's Christmas time. The toys, the stuff. Uh, oh, man. Internally, sometimes, man, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? So you can either succumb or you can rise up. And, and then rising up is it, 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 such a daunting task. Everybody's got the, we got the book. I got I got plenty of books. I got authors. I've got a book myself. Uh, we watch videos. We listen to motivational. We we sign in to some things to help us. But then it still doesn't just work out like that. That's why the three percent control the ninety seven percent. They don't quit. I put myself on the side of the three percent. You put yourself on the side of the three percent and see what happens then. I like what Steve Harvey said. Money's not everything, right? But guess what? Every problem he faced with some money seemed to work out a little bit better than when he didn't have any. Something like that. Think about it. So let's get up. Let's get on. And it's not about any one thing. It's about the thing that motivates you. The spillage. Dominion. Profit. Have, I don't know. But if you were in pursuit. Of what you want in your life, man, by God, man, be in pursuit of what you want in your life, man. Check this out. Any negative voice that ever entered into your space that said you couldn't was lying. The truth is they didn't want you to. I've been given a chance, and that's all you've ever needed. You've needed an opportunity, and you needed the wind beneath your sail that God gave you called breath. When God gave you the breath, he gave you his endorsement and said, I still have plans for you. I know the plans I have for you. You will prosper, you will do well, you will overcome, you will win, because you were never made to be a loser. You say you want to be great, let your actions, let your words display that. If you say you love the cat that's next to you, let your actions and let your words display that. If you say you really want to be elite, let your actions and let your words display that. I want you to get the spirit. That's uncommon. Right? You can't be a common man and do uncommon things. That's uncommon. That's an uncommon mentality. That's an uncommon spirit. That's an uncommon disposition. Don't ask me if I'm I. No, we not. We said we was going to dominate these cats, and we ain't dominate. Every single day, do you dominate in what you do?
at this lion. He's the king of the jungle. Huge mane out here. The little lion comes, they start messing with him. Biting his tail, biting his ears. He doesn't do anything. Now, the other animals, they notice this. And they start to move in. They're barking at him, laughing at him. They do this, and they get closer and closer and bolder and bolder. Until one day, that lion gets up and tears the shit out of everybody. Runs like the wind, and eats everything in his path. Because every once in a while, the lion has to show the jackals who he is. Because it's a compliment when people say you're good. But if you settle for being good, you'll miss out on the whole boat called greatness. You see, greatness is a boat trip away because there's a great gulf between those who are good and those who are great. No one remembers those who were simply good. We remember those who were great. Never, never quit. And if you feel like your life is in a place where you can't get any lower, and you don't think you can find any way out. Because that means the ultimate challenge is ahead of you. It means you can only go up. And it also means that things are gonna be tough. Things are gonna be tougher than anything you can imagine but that storm that you're in from from your perspective it seems like that storm is enveloping the whole world but i'm telling you it is not That's too much mojo in the morning. I just want to get you started right there. I, I, I get going, you know. I get the word in the morning. I say, thank you. Ten toes on the floor, man. Kiss my lovely wife, man. I'm out. I'm out on to it. And uh, those kind of, you know, get to that. I believe that if you capture the momentum in the, in the early parts of the day, the more of it you can, you know, capture, maintain, and catapult you to where you want to be later on, on through the day. It's like energy. It just builds on itself. So, Hope you got a little mojo on that. Now I want to give you a little content. Uh, it's going to be amazing. Man, uh, a, a, a great new friend of mine, man. Uh, I got to say, Michelle Shaw, you were doing the thing. I've been uh, skipping around in here, but I've got I've got a part that, that really hit me right here. It says, look at your industry and do what is different because that's going to set you apart. Now, I, I, I'll use that for right now. So in, in my industry, I'm in marketing, I'm in business development, I'm in network marketing, I'm in a travel industry. And being able to share an opportunity with people that they can, whatever the case is, whatever industry it is, what I want to show you is most people are asleep. That's, that's what I want to tell you. And if, you, if you're up and you're reading, you, you, you're developing, uh, and it's not about anybody else. I got to give you this. It, it's not about anybody else. Hold on. Shit. It, it's, it's not about anybody else or breakthrough throw. It's not competing with anyone or comparing with anyone. 
You're competing with that mirror. I'm competing each and every day to be a better husband, to be a better father, to be a better student, to be a better person every day than I was yesterday. So that's 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 what you know. That's that's about you though. So if you own, I love Dollar Tree. This, this is a cool store. Keep it consistent. You know what you're going to get. They went up a quarter. They told everybody they were going to go up a quarter. That's fair enough. But some Dollar Trees are just better than others. But but it's the same brand. Why? Leadership. Leadership is the, is the common denominator for success and failure. So if you go in this Dollar Tree and they greet you with cheer and it smells like good old, you know, fabuloso, pie, whatever it is, you know, the cheer, the energy is good, it's well lit. Uh, people sing, you might grab a basket. Now over here you're running in, you might grab one of those little uh, buckets, right? And over here, you may not do anything, just turn back around and charge it. The, the bathrooms locked. I mean, it's just so many things. I digress. What's your model of leadership like? What's your model of who you are like? Because who you are is who you are, man. Be who you are, though. Because who you are, he created you to be that. But you got to do that. So as we talk about what you're going to do, you know, what are you going to do about it? So you wanted to start that business. So you wanted to get going. And as I was sharing here, how about, you know, get going? That's, that's my thing. Start now. Use what you have. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Queen. I, I see you out there. Thank you for chiming in, tuning in this morning. I see you. I see you. Great morning to you. Tell my main man I send a, a salute. Uh, absolutely. Brent, man, get the pace here. He's making a dominant impact out there. Compton, in fact, doing the work that it takes. Good morning. Now, back to Rochelle. Ms. Shaw, she said here, look at your industry and do what is different because that's what's going to set you apart. Now, that's not a real complicated, but just think about it. You know, what sets you apart? You sell houses, he sells houses. But you invest in your brand. You are a vendor sometimes. You start networking with people that uh, not looking, maybe they're not looking to buy a house. Maybe they're looking to house people. Ah, another, you know, it, where you where you put yourself differentiates you. But yeah, rule number one, you must solve a problem for your prospect. So I was blessed. Uh, a good friend, new partner, man, uh, Mr. Kelton, boss, I quit Alexander, invited me out to, to meet Mrs. Shaw and uh, what we got a chance to do. Miss Shaw, she correct you on that. What we got a chance to do is just glean uh, and, and get some questions answered about how to communicate effectively with your client consistently, consistently, effectively, efficiently, and, and intentionally. Think about it. Stand by. She's going to be also uh, this evening. She will be in Pomona, California. Get a chance to meet her. Get a chance to ask some of those questions. I would recommend someone that's earned uh, the, the kind of millions. Listen. The million dollar equation, nine steps to building a million dollar business in three years or less. Who now is that science? Mm -hmm. But I tell you what it is. It's a blueprint to a step. And I like blueprints to a step. And you put it in your personal work ethic. And that's what you get. You don't get what's on the book, you get what's in you. Stand by. I see you out there. Oh man, it's getting in the gym for a couple hours. Okay, okay, okay. I need to get in the gym. I get hint, hint, and clue, clue. Stand by. Get ready for uh, this, this quick little uh, Q&A we have right here. It was an honor to be there. So share some. A more frequent. Yeah. That's correct. So you're taking pictures, you're showing the interaction with those. Yes. B, and that may have a little bit more credibility or you got a, a stronger relationship from or they have the, the clients you're looking for. Yes. Okay. But the A's are too. So I don't want you fooling with people who don't have your ideal client in the A's. Okay. Right. They can't get a gift, they can't go to an event. Uh-uh. Uh, yes. Unless they have access to your ideal client. Okay. 
Okay. So, so the, the B yep. is they are the ideal client. Yep. They have access to the ideal client. Yes. Um, so you're looking to build a relationship with the A. Yes. Yes. And then the C. The C is the same you're, thing, you're right? Keeping them in the loop, and I know where it might go at all. But Absolutely. I want you to know you are an ideal client. Yes. You have the ability to be a client. Or they have access to your access client. Access to the client. Yeah. And I just want you to know you should have seen all the good stuff. Yes. Right? Yes. And eventually. Yes. You, you they, will, they, they will come to you. Right? So that is what marketing is. Yeah. Right? Getting people to come to us. Right. It's not us doing the outreach. It's getting them to come to us. So how do we demonstrate that we are worthy? We show the authority piece. Yes. How do we demonstrate that we're doing great business is we've got pictures with our AAs and what they've done. Well, here's the, the CEO of Heartland. Da, 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 da. They have this many people. You know, if you have to do it over Zoom with the gal with the text press, test prep, right? Here's our picture. Oh, did you get it? And she's going to send you a, a, you know, or whatever. A selfie of her with a gift. Mm -hmm. you know, oh, I got your gift. Thank you very much. Could be a free book. Could be anything. All right. Oh, I thought this would work for you. Thank you so much. You've been an integral part of our business. We are so grateful for you. Okay. What you shared about the, the relationship really superseding, you know, financial compensation was very helpful. When it comes to directly to um, clients, um, shall I basically uh, practice the same principle where it's like I just offer great service and then accept whatever the referrals versus remunerating them? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, how many have you have you written commission checks to? So we're actually there's one we we have this one client I have this client who uh, is like the whale is a, you know uh, an MD and just but I realized. He was not doing this to get compens compensated. He just liked yeah. the value given to his son. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, mm -hmm. maybe I have to like do some mm -hmm. kind of inner work. Like, we all what do. is it? What is that all about? We all do. I right? hear you. Yeah. We what is that all about? I, I I offered him a care four hundred dollars. I mean, you know, he he gladly received it. You know, was like yeah, of course. I, you know, four four hundred dollars. You know, regardless of the package. But maybe in the in the future, I may. Just omit doing it, you know? Yeah. Would, would that be your suggestion? Just not. Absolutely. Okay. So your whales should get. Hi, my name is Kijano Owens. I am co founder of Success Express Marketing Solutions. Our business is cultivating more business for your business. I want to tell you real quick about our program that is one of the most comprehensive business development uh, online marketing support programs out there, which is the BASP, B-A-S-P, Virtual Assistant Support Program. This system allows you to operate and run your business while we help monitor and help you cultivate more business for your business online. Contact us at 909-686-1698 and visit us online at successexpressmarketing.com. Look forward to helping you take your business to the next level. Welcome to the Jazz Zone. Allow the Jazz Zone to make the next event enjoyable and entertaining. The Jazz Zone is great for private parties, weddings, festivals, fundraisers, grand openings, and corporate affairs. Move up to the next level of entertaining with the Jazz Zone. Check out our website at jazzzone.net. That's J-A-Z-Z-Z-O-N-E.net. Or call the Jazz Zone at 626 798-6848. Jazz Abrations is unique in the fact that we honor jazz and blues legends over the age of 65 who have contributed more than 25 years to the industry. 
our performances educate our families about legacy preservation and as we entertain our communities to have fun and to be educated about keeping the legacies alive. There you go right there. There you go right there. Uh, shout out to Jazz Zone, Jazz Operation, the Jazz Zone, an amazing uh, community work, uh, Miss Linda Morgan Sam. I want to say thank you for uh, also sponsoring the amazing uh, publicly, you know, uh, a sponsorship of, of a camera uh, to add into the uh, uh, inventory of, of, of development and building atmosphere photography uh second edition thank you so much for uh, your belief and, and the things that we're doing excited about that but back to the deal if you want to win think about winning you know you you, you want to win you want to do something you want to get this thing started uh get around people that are doing it. get around people that that, that are, are open to uh, helping you get wherever you want to get to in, in life and, and decide got to decide though that you, you're going to overcome you're going to you, you got to feed yourself you got to feed yourself a uh, general or i'm going to use uh what he says a uh, six-star founder director planet marketing my man he says he eats cherry nose for breakfast meaning so what they said no so what they don't believe so what is not for them so what what's for you Especially if you have a why attached to it, meaning I got to do this for even sometimes the community that, that may not even understand what you need to do. So believe in yourself, look in the mirror, compete with yourself in the morning, compete with uh, being better, compete with being earlier, compete with uh, uh, being a little bit later, you know, on, on your crime. Give an extra minute, give an extra hour, give, give, an, give an extra push up, give an extra effort of any kind, of any sort to any degree, to any degree, I mean, to any degree, an extra effort, you know, maybe, maybe you go put some um, cheese in those grits, you know, maybe, maybe that, maybe maybe your wife deserves some flowers, you know, maybe you can't buy some, maybe you pick some from next door, clip, clip a petal, you know, clip, a, <laughs> clip, clip something, I don't know, I'm just saying, maybe if we put a little bit more in what we wanted, we may just get a little bit more than we thought out of. You may have something you think you're going to get. What if it was way more than what you thought you could get out of it? Since we have the faith of a mustard seed. The faith of a mustard seed, to him, mm, that bill, mm, that car, mm, that house, he just thump. It's got a table. He just thump you a, a big old blessing. But what if we apply the entire mustard seed, right? to what could happen. So we don't know. We think a six-figure income is what happens. Well, well why not a 10-figure income? They're doing it. These people got a, people got crazy money. It's, it's a crazy world. Who said? Terry knows. General Alanda Moore. I, I'm going to introduce you to him. We, 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 we're going to do some things. Oh, man. That's DNA to grind out there. Outstanding. What if you said, you know, the mustard seed, I could, you know what? I'm tired. What if you said that? I mean, what if we just said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm tired. I'm tired. But but don't be tired. Be tired. Like, you know what? I'm going to the deal. You know what? I'm going to put a little bit more into it. You know what? I've got to do a little bit more because I want a little bit more. And then the mustard seed says, I'm gonna do it for I don't know, but the mustard seed, you don't know what the maximum of the mustard seed is. If you have the faith of a mustard seed, he said, which is it's tiny, but to him, I mean, that's what is that? Well, what's the maximum you could get out of the mustard seed? I mean, these people with 10,000 square foot home, 10,000 square foot kitchen. Uh, a, a new used car, a new car, a real new car, the car you ordered with your head, with your name in the headrest. Here's a question from another leader, Mr. Shedgy Quiet, another six star director, Planet Marketing. Man, 
what he says is life is what we all have. Lifestyle is how we choose to live it. And he asked the question, why do they buy 40 million? Why do they sell 40 million dollars? Yeah, yachts, jets, all this stuff. The class didn't no answer, no answer. So we answered. If anybody knows, put it in, put it in the, the, the message right there. I'm gonna give you a second. He asked, why do they sell 40 million dollar yachts? Jets, you apply homes. He said, because people buy them. Man, we're just not around the people that buy them. So if it's available, the mustard seed, let's apply the work. And that's why I always say, apply the level of the work you do to match the level of the faith you have. Apply the level of the work you do to match the level of the faith you have. That's a fact. Do that and see what happens. Out of the mustard seed. It's been the morning grind, grind dollars. You one on one podcast. I'm being promoted this afternoon. It's going to be a, a really great opportunity to get a chance to meet. Be honored. Uh, let me know. You can send me a message. I'll uh, prepare for you. Dropping by, I'll be there. But I tell you what, if you want to meet people that are doing something different, go meet people that are doing something different. Also, this morning, I'll be on the main line with my main man on the grind. Uh, this morning, we, we absolutely show uh, this program each and every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Zoom on the other room, how you can put yourself in the ownership seat and travel. Makes sense to me. May make sense to you. I eat cherry nose for breakfast. It's an opportunity to change your life. We're changing lives together. The mustard seed faith. Absolutely. Absolutely. Queen, you have an amazing day. My main man out there, I see you always on the grind, always making it happen. Uh, King Rasul Daoud, man, my good, my, my good friend. Thank you. The grind Dollars you 101. It's all about that grind. We see you on the other side. Have an amazing day. And have an amazing day on purpose. Success loves speed. Operate. In the spirit of success, man, you are in the right place at the right time. It's early in the morning. Most people still sleeping, man. You get a chance to get a little bit more done and get a little bit more ahead. And if you do a little bit more, get a little bit more. Oh, now I'm smiling. I ain't want to smile that big. Mrs. Owens chimed in. <clears throat> Back to work. God bless everybody. Have an amazing day on purpose. We see you on the other side. And I'm telling you. There is another side. Stay abreast to it. We see you.